Okay, today I'm going to show you how to measure up and fit cassetted roller blinds. Um, both, we'll do both manual and remote control, and then we'll do uh, vision roller blinds, which are roller blinds but slightly different. Um, first of all, pen, pencil, piece of paper, tape measure. Um, always measure width first and then drop. Inside the recess, measuring three different places. You want the smallest size, but always consider that the, uh, the cassette is being fitted at the top anyway, so the material will be smaller than the cassette, so don't worry about if, if you're, if it's small, 10 mil smaller down here, don't worry too much. Um, same with the drop, three different places, writing down the longest of those three measurements. So you've got your width and your drop, and that would be recess size. And that's it for measuring up. Right, now we go on to fitting. First of all, we'll fit a manual, manual roller blind in a cassette, which will come to you much like this. Um, what we tend to do, just to make life easier, is clip it out, out of the cassette first, which is quite easy. <clears throat> now on this one we've already fitted the brackets. We've gone for top fix brackets, but we can also use face fix brackets, um, which would probably be easier for uh, a DIY fitter. Instead of having to drill into the lintel, they can actually fit them to the, to the window frame. So drill a pilot hole, self-tap a screw into the window frame. Right, to fit, a little bit fiddly these. Um, let me show you before we put the blind up. Basically your top fixed brackets fit into that groove there. So the front of the blind would go into the bracket there and then basically the back, you then push the back up into the bracket which will clip into place. So head rail up. Now slide it forwards until it engages in that groove and then push at the back. There you go, head rail fitted. Roll, uh, the roller blind part of the blind, make sure you take the, um, uh, the packaging off, otherwise obviously it's not going to operate. Packaging off, two ends, you've got your control end and your spring-loaded end. The spring-loaded end goes in first. Push it up tight. And you'll see on the control end there's like a hook system which goes into the bracket and pulls down and locks into place. So there you go, that's fitted in there. Test it to make sure it'll go all the way down which it obviously does, because I made it. And then again, all the way up. Now, each blind will come with a child safety mechanism, which is this, which should be fitted to the wall. Also for extra, extra protection, there's two breakaway connectors, strategically placed at 200 mil apart because apparently that's the size of a, a child's neck. Um, these will break apart as soon as more than 15 pounds of pressure is put on them. So if somebody does get it wrapped around the neck, it will come apart. Now, as long as the control cord is 1.5 meters off the floor, you don't actually need this bit. The breakaway connectors are fine. However, if it's under 1500 or you just want added protection if it's going in a child's bedroom 
always fit the child safety device. Okay, to fit the child safety mechanism, first of all, take it off the chain. Take the red bit out, which releases it. Get, find your pencil, put it on the wall exactly where, where you want it. In this case, here. So mark the wall, drill it, plug it, red plug. Don't worry about the chain being too long at this stage. Put your child safety mechanism back together. Like so, without the chain getting caught in the back. Like that. Screw into your hole. Tighten it up. Now adjust your chain to size by disconnecting it from uh, the easy brake connector. Pull it so it's tight. Line it up with your easy brake connector. So we'll probably go for there. And cut just above that. Here. And then join it. If you want to go a little bit tighter, go to the next one, which we will probably do in this case. It's sometimes good not to go too tight, otherwise the um, connectors will have difficulty passing through the, uh, the child safety device. So there you go, that's how it should be done child safety device fitted, line working fine. So that's how we fit a manual cassetted roller blind, all available to order on our Blinds View Direct website. Order yours now.